Well, this morning, an eight-year-old boy is in the hospital. He is recovering from serious burns he suffered at school. And parents want to know, how did this happen? News Channel 8's Evan Donovan reports from High Point Elementary in unincorporated Clearwater. Students and teachers arrived at High Point Elementary School today for a normal day of school, but with yesterday on their minds, one young boy who's their classmate won't be joining them today. The fire alarm just went off, and then we're like, what's, what's happening? What happened, we still don't know yet. And some parents, still in the dark, say the school could have done better. I don't think that it was very handled well. If it was actually a real, real, real crisis situation, there's got to be way more training than what was done with yesterday because just yelling out, first graders, first graders, no, no parents knew what was going on. School officials say an eight-year-old boy was burned on his shoulder, torso, hands, and arms, then bay flighted to the Tampa General Burn Unit. Parents were notified by a phone message only that a child was injured and taken to the hospital. When you're a parent and you hear that you just, you know, you just freak out. When many arrived to pick up their kids, they found emergency and fire crews all over campus. Oh my God, I, my heart sank. I really wanted to cry. Parents, understandably worried about their children, hoping for the best for the young boy. And they were just like, it's fine. If it was your child, we would have called you. Excuse me, there's a child being lifted away. Was my child near that child? You know, that's traumatizing. Your first instinct is like, what happened to my kid? You know, I hope everything's okay, but I think he's going to get some pretty good care, so hopefully he'll be okay. We're working to try to find updates on the condition of this young boy. As of yet, he has not been identified, so we don't know how he is doing yet in Tampa General's burn unit. Stay with News Channel 8 throughout the day as we bring you more updates on this story. Reporting in Pinellas County, Evan Donovan, News Channel 8.